Death is defined as the complete and irreversible cessation of brain activity. Sure. If that's the yeah. definition of death, mm -hmm. a child at 20 to 24 weeks in the mm -hmm. womb doesn't have that definition of death. It's it not, doesn't even has, have the brain activity. But it doesn't child have brain irreversible, waves. and it doesn't have a cessation of brain activity that will never come back. It's going to develop its brain activity Going to develop. Shortly. I agree. A child has brain it will develop. And once it develops it, I'm going to care a whole lot about it. Do you see that you're, even your definition of, well, I'm defining it the same way that death is defined, they're not the same. Do you see that? No. You don't see that. What is yes, your definition? Just for of this, uh, the, whatever one helps me win the debate. It's the different if someone is dead and all their brain activity has ceased and will not come back versus you're, you're a child in the womb, an on embryo the in the womb who, is, who has the potential yeah. and it actually has the capacity for brain activity in time. Okay. Do you see the difference? I know there's a difference, but this difference is not relevant. Point, That's point, the whole debate, though, Destiny. It's not. The point because you're is, saying it's morally okay to kill the child that has the capacity for brain okay, activity but hasn't developed Okay, who is being yet. harmed when you abort a 16-week-old fetus? 